What's up guys, Hobbit 88 here and welcome back to R Factor for some more dirt racing. And uh, we've got the UMP modifiers loaded up here. Um, I had a request come in here very recently that sort of struck uh, an interest for me and that was uh, from Kenny Douglas who asked for UMP mods at Lima Land Raceway. I haven't had a run at Lima Land in God only knows how long to be honest. So. I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, cut some laps. Sounds like good fun to me. Um, we'll just quickly go through here and have a look at, uh, we've got Eric Fountain's number 83 UMP modified. Um, some of the different options that you've got for upgrades. So you've got your class packages, the two link, 4x4, four 4Z four, four and swing arm um, classes, which is basically just your suspension. Uh, your wheels, you can turn on and off the steering wheel, the hands. Um, the seat, the window net, and then your transmission, you've got quite a few choices. Um, the brakes, four working brakes or shut-off brakes. The doors, you've got a whole heap of, uh, whole heap of different door skirts and things like that. The roof sails, the same sort of thing. You can change the rear roof sail. All sorts of different ones, but we'll just go back to what we had. Uh, the engine covers, which is these side panels. Um, you can run an open or a crate engine package. Spoilers, you've got a whole heap of different variations. You can take out the rear panel, which I've done. Uh, the hood scoop. You've got a few different options for that. Uh, the hood itself, you can run a regular or a wide hood. You know what? I kind of like the look of that. Let's run the wide. Um, by visor you can make bigger and smaller uh, then you got your nerf bars the rear end which is your different uh, rear end there uh, fuel cell you can change the tires the rims the bead locks and the nose piece is the last one this one's sort of fairly significant um, you've got a fair few different options on the nose and uh, we might run Wow, this is the one that was installed. We'll just leave it at that. So uh, that's a quick run through of all the different options uh, of the upgrades you can do for this car. Um, so we've got Lima Land Raceway uh, against the UMP Modifieds 2014. Uh, 17 AI, rolling start. Uh, we might make it a bit shorter, 20 laps. I've had to turn the AI all the way down uh, to make it so that I can even keep up. Uh, display settings for those that want to know what I run. So let's load this up and uh, as usual I will show you guys this. I'm trying to remember to do this in most of these videos but uh, this is my Logitech profiler settings. 270 degrees of rotation, everything else at 100%. This so my Logitech G27. Quickly go into the settings, make sure that everything is turned off except for invulnerability. Which it is, and I'm actually going to go ahead here and uh, load a setup that I've had to organize for this just to make it so I can keep up. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cut some laps in practice. So, this is a really cool track, and it's sort of been one of those ones that's fallen out of consciousness for me, I guess. I kind of forgot all about Lima Land. Lima Land, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Because I've had my wheel settings open since the game loaded. I've lost all my force feedback, so that's awkward. Hopefully it comes back, but uh, yeah, I always really enjoyed watching the uh, Brad Doty Classic here. Um, I believe it was run at Attica last year, I think it was. I uh, really enjoyed watching that year. Always provided good racing, I thought, this track. And I used to cut laps here when I first got into R Factor. And it's been a long time, a long, long time since I've uh, turned laps at this track, so. I thought that sounded good. And 
it's pretty good fun. I think we'll call it quits there. Have a quick look at the replay of this. I'm hoping that the race itself works out to be pretty interesting. I haven't really tested the racing lines here. As always, the Dirtworks Designs content looking good. Alright, we'll call it quits there. Let's go ahead, start for the race, not going to time trial, we'll start at the rear. That was loud. As we always do uh, for the AI racing, start at the back. I just find it more entertaining to have to pass all the field, work my way forward. All right, here we go. 20 laps. Wish me luck. Gonna go straight to the top. That's what we do. We're right off the top there. Just get walked up a little bit there with the seven. Here. Now that we're back to sort of single file in front of us. Should be able to get into a rhythm. The outside of this pink car in our purple car. I'll tell you what, those two leaders out in front are pulling away. working well. on the inside. So around the top for the front. Probably made the AI just a little bit too weak. Catch the back of the field before the checkered flag. Oh no! Oh, it didn't go to plan.
struggling to patch back up to these two. Just got to the wall. Why not three wide for the lead down the main straight? Checkered flag. So we almost coughed that one up, but just managed to get back to the front. That was really good fun. Really enjoyed that. You can have a look. Yeah, we did end up in front. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed that. That was good fun. Thanks very much to Kenny Douglas for the suggestion. Um, as soon as I read that, I thought, yep, I want to do that video. Because that would be good fun. Um, also, I think what I might do here in the next couple of days is uh, post a poll on Twitter uh, for over the weekend. You guys to decide what you want to see next in the way of dirt. A lot of requests in over the last month or so. I've got them all in a list, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out maybe 410 sprint cars or wingless sprints or something. Pick out a few of the tracks that have been requested, put them in a poll, let you guys decide which one you want to see the most. And uh, yeah, make sure you jump on, follow me on Twitter, keep an eye out for that. And uh, if you want to get involved and make help make a decision on what we run next week, uh, let me know. But uh, thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for the video, we'll see you guys in the next one.